never seen before. So we are focused on your healthy home, but really the centerpiece is making sure that you are healthy. Now, Ron and Lisa Barris are our healthy home dream team. They're biologists who study the health and well-being of your home and the space in which you live. And we wanted to take a moment to check in with you about uh, breast cancer. It, it's the beginning of October, so it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month uh, across this entire country. And we wanted to ask you, in relation to our home, Yes. In relation to the environment that we can control that we're trying to make healthier here on this show, what is it that we need to be concerned about that's in our homes that's actually leading to cancer? Right. That's a great question. Well, today, breast cancer is the second leading cause of cancer death among women. And in fact, studies have shown there are 17 types of chemicals, 102 in total, that are linked to breast cancer. So we know that there's talk about diet and lifestyle. There's talk about heredity and genes and all that kind of stuff. But there are actual choices about what's in our homes, right? right. There's certain things we can look for, watch out for, get out of our homes that we're not even aware can be linked to cancer. Right. right? We have so much power, more than we think, more than we've been told. And we actually have five steps that you can start implementing right away to get started. Starting with step number one, rethink your triangles. This is every plastic that you see will have a triangle with a number inside. That's a recycling number, but you can use it to identify the type of plastic. You want to avoid numbers three, six, and seven. These are the most toxic plastics. Number two, rethink phthalates. Phthalates are synthetic chemicals that mimic natural estrogen. Step number three, air, A-I-R, on the side of caution and run that HEPA air purifier in your home so it's absorbing airborne chemicals and VOCs. And step number four, get unstuck on nonstick. Avoid PFOAs and other harmful compounds that are commonly found in nonstick cookware and also on stain resistant treatments on carpets, rugs, and even clothing. Step number five, forego flame retardants. So when you actually buy furniture, avoid flame retardant chemicals that are inside the furniture. And it goes without saying, make sure you are steam mopping your flooring. <laughs> because at the end of the day, all of these toxic chemicals that are floating around the air, they all end up on our floors and around our Absolutely. homes. Absolutely. That's the thing. These chemicals get in our dust, and we don't realize that dust itself is very toxic. So it's amazing to me to think that there's all these warning signs out there. You just have to identify them. Thank you guys so much. Thank and you. And thank you for being supportive. We did want to take a moment to acknowledge that it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So they just said steam mop the floors. Okay, I mean, that was the guide, that was the key, that was the easy step to get started, so let's help you do it. Let's connect you to one of our most exciting steam mops, all in Florida ceiling steam cleaners. No harmful chemicals, no bleaches, no ammonias. We are talking about being able to kill bacteria, salmonella, E. coli. Oh, and by the way, we're doing it at the lowest price ever for the final quantities. Lou's going to show you what the Pulte Go can do. That's right, Brett. You said steam floors.